Hey guys, Jarek here and Komodo's back, and we're going to be doing some Call of Duty Ghosts. Going to be playing some team deathmatch on the map Stormfront. Uh, this game was a pretty decent game. This is not one of the world's best games. I only died once, but I didn't get a whole ton of kills, but I got kill streaks, and, you know, it's good enough to show the game off. I just kind of wanted to get something uploaded, but you'll be seeing a lot better games in the future, and you've probably already seen a lot better games from other people, so... Uh, I don't want to make it seem like this is an amazing game, just uh, wanted to upload something. So I am playing this on PC, as you probably noticed I am running the FOV fix. Interesting story about this FOV fix. So by default, this game has an absolutely horrible FOV. By default, it is 65 degrees, the same as the console FOV. That is horrible. To give you an idea of how bad that is, Halo 4's FOV is 78 degrees. How much better does that game look than this one? Why couldn't this one have a better FOV than that? And there's no FOV slider. You can't change the field of view in any way whatsoever, so you have to rely on mods to do this. So, you know, someone made a FOV fix tool within the first, like, hour or so of the game. It might have been even before the game came out. And what does Activision do? Cease and desist on the mod. Are you serious? Yes, for a field of view fix. Why is it that companies keep doing this? Like, I don't know if they're like, oh no, our game is perfect, don't even try to mess with it. Or if there's, like, some legitimate reason, I mean, fixing the FOV isn't going to give you an advantage over, or if it does... It'll help. Not, it, it gives you somewhat of an advantage, um, but who cares, you It's know? not game-breaking, though. Yeah. It's something that, on PC gaming, the standard is 90 degrees, field of view. That's what I'm running right now. I have noticed, I think this is the reason they're doing it, is not because it gives someone an unfair advantage. I think it's because some of the animations go crazy. Um, kind of like the same issue with Metro Last Light, how it's meant for that specific FOV, so if you increase it, you kind of see through your arms at times, especially with the LMGs, it looks very strange. And I think that's the reason. You can kind of tell when I reload, that like, the extra magazine just kind of pops up out of nowhere. Whoop. <laughs> like, it, it does look kind of weird, but screw that, that that's a worth a trade-off. And I also have noticed, this is something I did not expect, when I increased the field of view, my aiming got better. Like, it just felt a lot more natural to be aiming with such a higher field of view. I was having such a hard time aiming with my mouse with such a bad field of view. Um, I don't know what it was, but I increased the field of view and I'm playing a lot better now. Yeah, I just don't understand Activision. I'm pretty sure that's the reason, and yes, that's a graphical glitch on the map. I, I don't know why this map does that. Um, but I can't understand why Activision is being such a dick about it. On the record, though, Infinity Ward has said in the past we don't have anything against field of view fixes. So it's not an Infinity War thing, it's it's Activision being a dick. Not surprised. Yeah, it's... I don't know why the hell they would ever do that. But yeah, like I said, I am playing on PC. The PC version is kind of buggy, to be honest. Um, you will need to change the priority of the process to normal instead of high, or it'll stutter a lot. Uh, sometimes the pulling rate of your mouse, if you have it set to 1000, might make the game stutter as well. I haven't had that issue, I changed the priority and that fixed it. The game does stutter. I actually had to lower the settings of this game to get it to run correctly. No way should I have to do that. To give you an idea, I can max Battlefield 4 out with 100 plus frames per second. There is no way this game should give me a problem. So, the PC version is kind of picky. I've got it working now. Like, once you get it working, then it's fine. I'd still much rather play it on this than I would on console. But, eh, it's, it's such a weird release. To be fair, the problems that Call of Duty has had compared to the problems that Battlefield 4 has had on launch, Nowhere near as bad. Battlefield 4 is a wreck right now. Uh, it's so much so that if you put a suppressor on one of the guns in Battlefield 4, it literally mutes the sounds as soon as you shoot it for the whole server. Not even just you, it breaks the server. So that's how bad the quality testing has been. It was a very rushed game. I have a feeling that after a month or so, the game will be a lot better, but man, EA and Activision are just fucking games up left and right. I mean, you gotta push them out, get them out the door to get that money. I only see Battlefield 4 as EA's attempt to really rake in money on the next-gen consoles, quote-unquote next-gen. And my response to that has been, I've been playing next-gen for since Crisis 1. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ugh, getting into the overhyped things and people buying into hype and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I, uh, as I said before, Suk was uh, going on and on about the list of features for this game and nothing really wowed me. He was talking about how you can lean and I was like, yeah, I've seen that before. And then he was talking about mantling and I was like, yeah, I've seen that before too. Yeah, I'll be 
a little bit. Okay, let me make this clear. I'm not saying this is a bad game. I, I think it's kind of... I've made it sound like I was tearing this game apart. I'm not doing that. I'm just tearing apart the decisions that the publishers are making because why would you do these things? It doesn't make any sense to me. As for the game, surprisingly enough, I think I might be pretty confident to say as of right now that this is the most fun I've had with an Infinity Ward Call of Duty game, but that really doesn't say a whole lot because I really do not like Infinity Ward Call of Duty games. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Call of Duty 4. I mean, when it came out, I had fun with it, and when I say that, people hate me a lot of the time. But I wasn't a big fan of Call of Duty 4. I really hated Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3 was terrible. Uh, pretty much everyone would agree with me on that. The one thing is that it's like... So this is my problem with Call of Duty 4. Infinity Ward does not care about balance. Um, when you have perks that will pretty much... Yeah, you have Juggernaut, a perk that gives you more health than your enemy, and Stopping Power, a perk that gives you makes your bullets stronger than the enemy, yet you don't have any balance in your game, yet people loved it. Like, that just ruined it. Pro Mod is really the only way to play Call of Duty 4 for me. And I gotta stop myself with this rant momentarily. So, I'm using two killstreaks at the moment. Uh, the one you're seeing right here is called Maniac. It is amusing to use and really frustrating when the enemy has it. You run really quickly, have a shit ton of health, and just knife people. Yeah, this is this is the bullshit kill streak. So, in other words, it's all of the knifing classes people made in the older Call of Duty, except for with a lot of health. That's okay. It's basically a juggernaut that's really fast with a knife. Um, it's really fun to use because it's so rage-inducing, uh, but it's really annoying to fight someone. And let me—I uh, gotta clarify. So, Wait, let me. Was that the animation? Yes. Boring. Uh, I I need to rant about the. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to keep talking about what I was saying earlier. The game itself got rid of a lot of things that I hated about previous Call of Duty games. For instance... What? I don't know how that missed. Uh, for instance, there is no death streaks anymore. Thank God. That was something that needed to be gone. You should not be rewarded for playing like shit. You're losing. You're not rewarded for that. Um, that was their attempt to make bad players keep playing the game, really. So, you know, things like that, for the most part, have been gone in this game. But a lot of the other things were a lot of bullshit let up hype. Um, for instance, they were saying things like, we added a leaning mechanic into this game, when in all reality, Crisis 2 did that forever ago, and it worked better, and games before Crisis did that as well. So how the leaning mechanic works is you walk up to a wall, you press the uh, whatever button you have to aim, and then you lean around the wall. You know, like every other game has done it. Now they, now they said they added in a knifing animation. This doesn't help the game in any way whatsoever. The knife is still fucking bullshit because you kill people instantly and then the animation happens. It's not like Bad Company 2 where it takes like a second or so before you can knife someone. It just, you kill, you get killed instantly by the knife. And I have always hated the fucking Call of Duty knives. That is something I will rant about forever. Um, and yeah, they, they added an animation to the climbing, which is cool in a way that it makes the game kind of flow a little bit better. But... Whatever, that's not a something that's not a selling point to your game. Um, and then they are talking about how they improve the engine or whatnot, but in all reality, this game honestly just looks like previous Call of Duty games with mods. And it runs about as well. So I don't know, I'm I'm tearing this game apart, but in all reality, I'm having some fun with it, but I can't really give you my honest opinions. It's only been out for a day or so. And give it about a week, it's time, and people will figure out what's good and what's bad about it and figure out a way to make something overpowered or something bad. So, I mean, who knows? It might end up being a fun game, it might stay that way, it might end up being absolutely ruined like Modern Warfare 2 was when people figured out, like, one-man army and noob tubes and stuff like that. Um, so, I don't know, give it a while and I guess we'll figure it out. So, yeah, there's been some Call of Duty Ghosts, went 21-1, pretty decent game to upload, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.